fuel straight away. I think so. Got a little red button to go on. Yeah. Yeah, we are on. What do I feel? That's the road. <laughs> How fast are you going, Chris? Sitting on 105. No? 100. <laughs> Hang on. Doing the speed limit, Nathan. <laughs> Keeping a PG today. Quick mission to Mega. We'll find a, hopefully a bargain, but we'll see. Could be no good. Too dodgy. We're in the uh, reliable dodgy garage car. <laughs> That's it. Dodge garage support vehicles. <laughs> the Outlander. Started taking small steps. Shoulders back and Nice little spot for an overnight solo trip. Nice spot with a view. Out here by ourselves. Only one that's joined me this time. It's the old faithful dog, Roxy, the drone eater. We're out here to introduce a new rig to the convoy. So for those of you that have been keeping up with the channel, you would have seen the, uh, the GQ make a few appearances, but unfortunately it's been off the road now for a bit over 12 months that um, after a bit of a mischief and hence why you've seen probably a bit more of the Y62 the uh, the wife's car out on the tracks but over the last while I've been searching for a replacement engine and had the eye set on the uh, the TB48 a lot of hype around that uh, the engine for those that uh, that know it um, and been looking for a uh, for a wreck that I can and, uh, pinch the engine out of and swap it in uh, but we've been Searching, searching, and haven't been finding much. Um, last, it was a couple of weeks back now, we uh, did a bit of a mission, and we did a drive up to Bega uh, to find 48. So let me introduce the new 48 to the convoy. Uh, still a few question marks on plans for her, and whether um, yeah, the engine's coming out of this and into the GQ, or whether it's going to stay as is and it'll be a, a new build. Um, 
but still working through that. So if you do have any ideas, what, what's your preference? GQ with a 48 or a uh, factory uh, 48 in the GU? Um, yeah, so this is this is her. So reasonably stock, no uh, no snorkels in the guard. Got uh, yeah, factory winch bar, no winch. Aerial that's about three miles tall, and sort of sits way up there. Uh, nice set of uh, KMC rims. Uh, tires are pretty much brand new. It's um, I think the uh, most K's they've done was the trip back from Bega since uh, since I bought it. Inside the car is pretty clean. It's a center console fridge in there already. Some nice black duck seat covers. They're pretty much brand new as well. Nice double din head unit. It's a factory RE5 auto. Um, little GPS speedo unit that they've put in. Um, got the Bluetooth mic. And yeah, back's pretty pretty clean as well. The um, k -On, Cargo barrier in the back, and yeah, back seats are reasonably tidy as well. So interior-wise, the cars is uh, is pretty clean overall, really. All right in the rear of the car, uh, reasonably new set of uh, tightened drawers. Probably not my favourite pick, but they uh, function and work well. And got the cargo barrier. Also got a heap of spares chucked in, so oil, uh, four sets of discs, pads. Uh, handbrake shoes, uh, oil filter, air filter. So pretty much a, a, a complete set for a, uh, another service, which is good. Um, it's also got uh, all the rotors and discs, uh, also all the discs and pads are already new on there. So I've got a spare set for down the track, which is which is nice. Bit of a win. Under the bonnet, reasonably factory once again. Uh, straight petrol. Um, a few new parts and bits and pieces in there. New uh, radiator in there, starter motor. Um, but yeah, everything else is pretty much pretty factory, uh, which is nice. So no, that hasn't been played with too much. The only thing that we have done since uh, getting it back to Melbourne is replace the Visca sub that was actually locked on and uh, fan was running the whole time. So I've replaced that and now it's uh, good as gold. Onto a few of the negative points. Uh, has been used to tell boat, so she's has actually seen a little bit of salt water, which is probably the um, one hesitation I have to whether I keep this one or whether I do the transplant back into the GQ, which the GQ is, is rust free and is in you know, all the running gears in good shape. It's just the um, yeah, motor's out of it at the moment. So, but uh, yeah, wouldn't mind hearing some thoughts, so you can chuck it in the comments. GQ 48 or uh, yeah, keep working on this one and build her up.